Is it time for another bedtime story? You got to give me a minute. Oh, hi everybody. I didn't notice you there. I have a kill boner right now, but I want to share it with you. Let's read it together. Peter was born in New York City, but grew up in France. He joined the French Foreign Legion during World War II at age 19. During a demolition raid on the Germans, he was shot and taken hostage. It took him about 15 months, but he finally escaped to the United States and joined the United States Marine Corps. He was allowed to wear all of his ribbons upon arriving at the depot, so he had attracted a lot of attention. Colonel Jones contacted the Commandant of the Marine Corps and said, we should make him a lieutenant. So they did. It was August. By December, he was a captain. They put him and two other officers into a guerrilla operation in France. He even wore his service alphas on reconnaissance patrols because he gave absolutely no fucks at all. German officers hated him so much they would curse the Marine Corps and Ortiz personally as a toast. He overheard one group doing it at a bar once, and he went right home and put on his dress blues. He came back, ordered them all a beer, pulled off his jacket to show his uniform, said a cheers to the United States Marine Corps, and shot one of their officers right in his German face. Then he disappeared into the night. When the war was over, they made some movies based on his life. He even acted alongside John Wayne. If Colonel Ortiz was alive now, he'd fuck us all up for shits and giggles. But he died in 1988. So sleep tight, kids. Oh, hi guys. Didn't notice you there. Deal a little bit of a hard on right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Kill boner. Kill boner.